Hello Jack and Brian. This is John Allen uh, from New York, Westchester, New York, uh, with my 1994 Toyota Celica. I've done a few things uh, since the last uh, show. First thing I did was uh, clear out all the old batteries, get them all taken out and take a lot of things off the car. Uh, and then the thing that I've been concentrating on, uh, the first thing that always seems to stump all of us, is finding a spot for the batteries, for the new lithium batteries. So I concentrated uh, this last week on, um, on the rear trunk area and uh, tried to create the space, the new space for the batteries. So I can show you, show you that, uh, show you how I got along with that. So here's the trunk area now. And I want to try and utilize that wheel well, cut out and drop down a battery box that will fit in that area and go below it um, and see if I can get a bigger space as possible to put batteries and also reclaim some of the trunk. So uh, I'm at the point now where I'm going to cut out the uh, floor of the trunk try and get some uh, get some idea of how big my battery box will be so uh, I've got my grinder the metal cutting wheel on it so I'm just going to go ahead and get on with it So there's one part out. So basically I want to cut out little bits and pieces of this um, and gradually uh, work the, the, the size of the hole bigger um, because I don't want to make too big of a hole. If I cut too much out I can't put it back. So, so I'll, I'll just you know basically cut out as much as I can and then I'll increase the size of it where I can see fit where the, where the box will go I think that's the way I'm going to approach this. So I want to keep checking underneath just to see that uh, I'm going to avoid this uh, I guess mo more structural piece here. So I'm probably going to now cut across over here so that I can avoid hitting that. Uh, but as you can see I'm gradually opening up the bottom over here. So now I don't really know what to do with this area here. Where my PVC pipes came through the conduit that was, you know, protecting my my main um, uh, wires here, running from the front of the car to the back. Uh, I think I'm probably going to end up cutting more of this back here, or maybe even further back. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm a bit puzzled by it at the moment. Uh, so I think I'm going to go underneath the car and, 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 and look around a bit more and see what I can do with it. See where I've got space. I might end up putting another box next to the battery box. Have the deeper one coming in down here. And then maybe a shallower one behind it which could hold some other of the components. So it's very often the case as you work with something like this, you, you cut something out and then you find something and 
you know, the, 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 another problem crops up. So I don't really know what to do with those, with that area there, maybe cut it out, as I was saying, put another box in there that could hold all the components. Um, and it's not until you actually start cutting through things and seeing things that, that you suddenly have another idea that might work out. So um, I'm probably, you know, just going to have to keep cutting a little bit more and see and, and, and see the whole, um, whole, whole plan evolve as you go along. It's pretty exciting. I mean, you never know what you're going get to up, get up to, really, or, or, or what will happen. The thing I've been trying to figure out, and I've been having trouble trying to figure it out, how far down can I come with the battery box? You know, you know, lining it up with the bottom of the car here. Um, and I was just trying to think, well, how am I going to do that? Because I'm not sure if I've got this car level. In fact, I know I haven't got it level because the garage floor is sloped. Um, and, it, you know, it, it's a real mind puzzler. But um, I had a moment, uh, I had an, an idea a moment ago using my uh, laser level. And it actually has a, a facility on it whereby I can actually fix a cross. Uh, the, uh, the cross so that one can do diagonal tiling. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a try and see if that actually will work for me. There's my laser level. It can put a cross like that and then I can tilt it. That's so you can put diagonal tiles. Uh, I can even make that horizontal line tilt up and down. Well if I get under the car and put this laser level and match it up with the railings underneath the car, I might be able to get myself a you know a line for which to work from. And that suddenly is a little flash of an idea that came into my mind. It could be a useful idea for other people I don't know. Let's give it a try. So if I get this all centered up on the center line of the car and then I can get the the horizontal plane kind of worked out positioning it and then I can I can put this uh, laser level on a tripod and then adjust it and get it in the right spot. I think this idea is going to work. Well, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I've put a straight edge across here, a level. It's not not being used as a level at all, but it's a straight edge uh, running from one side of my hole to the other and now I'm going to go underneath the vehicle and measure up to it and I shall see uh, I shall see how how much um, distance I can drop down to my laser line so let's go and do that position myself under the vehicle I have put my measuring tape up to the bottom of that straight edge and then I've got my laser level cutting a line here and my goodness look I've got 13 inches 13 inches clearance that's a, a massive box that means I can almost pretty much drop my whole battery the Carb 180's all the way down here into a box that will fill up this area here and I'll get quite a lot of my batteries in there and I'll have my full trunk space that's very exciting. So there you are, that's how I've been dealing with that. Um, and uh, I'm going to probably now measure up the, the space there that I need to um, come up with sizes for the battery boxes. And I'm probably going to outsource that uh, to a friend who has a, a precision engineering uh, company down the road in the next door village. And, uh, just because I don't think I've got the time to, to do that, uh, to learn another skill, TIG welding. Um, I would like to know how to do that, but I'd like to try and get this car back on the road uh, in a timely fashion as well. Um, so that's me, John Allen, uh, from New York, for EVTV. Have another great week.